Um, I mean, how do you assess the, the progress that has been made here since you took over? You don't want to look at the detail, but it says you were bottom three when you came here, and now you've, you're top five as we sit here. I mean, how do you assess that progress? Well, I think, well, uh, I would hope that we're getting better. We're nowhere near where, where I would like us to be, but we do have a group of players who I would hope now believe in each other, trust each other, and I think if you can show that on a game-to-game -game basis, then, then we can win points in the Barclays Premier League, and that's what we're trying to do. I still believe that we can continue to grow, continue to evolve, and, and ultimately hopefully get better, because that, I feel as a manager, my job is to look to try and improve the football club year in, year out, and that's all we're trying to do. I mean, you mentioned that, that, that you want to achieve more. I mean, have yourself and the players reassessed your ambitions for this season, given how good the start's no, been? No, again, uh, you know, at the outset of any season, I ask my players, and, and they'll tell you, each and every one of them, I don't give them targets. The target I give them is each and every game that comes up, that, that we give our best. And then, come the end of the season, we see what that's brought us. And, and nothing's changed from that. My focus is only on Newcastle on Saturday, and nothing more than that. And after each and every game, then come the end of the season, we'll see where the hard work is taking us. We'll see where we need to improve and, and look to try and address it from there. And really, that's we're not uh, uh, a club that, uh, with the size and the stature that we can look you know, months and, and years ahead. We really have to focus from you know, week to week looking to try and improve. And come the end of the season, then reassess it and think, OK, where do I need to take on? Where can I improve? And, and that's what we're trying to do. And the other thing which I'm sure supporters are happy about it is the way you're winning games, the style of, of football you're playing. Some of those goals last week against Wolves that illustrate that. I mean, is that another area that, that you've been, been conscious to, to work on? Well, we're pleased that, that we, we look uh, to have a goal set. And uh, I mean, I think any supporter will tell you when they want to come to games, they want to be entertained, they want to see goals coming in. And, uh, and um, you know, we'll look at our last few games and there's goals being given everywhere, you know, both at uh, both ends. So we prefer to try and keep them out of ours, but we have to recognise the, the quality we play. But we are committed to trying to be positive, trying to go and, and win every game, whether it be home or away, and uh, and hopefully, you know, it's serving as well. But we know the margins, you know, are, are minimal, so we have to make sure we come out on the right side of them. And to do that, we need each and every one of those players focused, trying to deliver, as you say, points, but equally trying to be entertaining at the same time. Johan's goal was the one that perhaps caught the most headlines on Saturday. Have they been, the, the players been trying to recreate that in training? See, ask him how he did it. Well, I mean, he does do it in, in training. I mean, I'd love to see it in games you know, more often because he has it in his locker. And I'm just delighted for Johan because, again, he's a player that had been panned and criticised for a long time. And since January, from working with him, it really has been terrific for me and how he goes about it. And long may that continue. And I think that goal probably you know, summed up the confidence he's playing with at the moment. You know, he might not have tried that. Uh, a year ago, but I think he knows he has quality, and we're encouraging him to try and show that uh, on the pitch. And when it comes off, as as we all seen it, it truly was a wonderful goal. And does that mean obviously harder to hold on to him, unfortunately, by the fact he's playing so well? Does it? Well, it's not hard to hold on to him just now because the only window that comes about is in January. So being in November, it's not something I'm I'm unduly worried about. I mean, Johan's obviously in his last year, is well within his rights to. Uh, uh, to utilise that whatever way he wants. I have no problem with that. What I do is I have a player who wants to play for me, he's given everything he's got, uh, and we'll take it from there.